Do you often find yourself struggling with controlling configurations and display states? Configurations and display states often do not work well with each other. In this video, I will recommend what I think is the most effective way of using them. So to start off, let's set up a drop-down menu for us to toggle easily between the different configurations. Go to the menu bar, right-click, and click on Configurations. As you can see, the drop-down menu appears on the top left-hand corner of my screen. In order to work effectively with both configurations and display states at the same time, we need to learn two important concepts. The first is how to link display states to configurations. The second is how to use envelopes. So here we have an assembly with the default configuration and a default display state named display state 1. So whenever you create a new assembly, I would recommend that you go straight to the display state, right click, go to properties, and check on the link display states to configurations checkbox. Once that is done, every subsequent creation of a new configuration will be accompanied by its own display state. If we create a new configuration, you will see that a display state 2 is created. If we activate the default configuration, you will see that the display state 1 is activated again. Each configuration is linked to a unique display state. Let's activate the newly created configuration again. And I want to change the color of block A to red. Let's apply this color at the component level. Also, we want to change the transparency of block C. And lastly, we want to hide the tray. So I'm going to change the description of this new configuration to a more descriptive one. So I have renamed the configuration to more accurately describe what we have done with the assembly so far. Let's toggle between the default and the new configuration to see the changes. Now it is not necessary to rename the display state as they are already linked to the configurations. With this workflow, we do not need to worry about creating display states. Instead, just focus on creating configurations and we can easily activate the configurations by selecting from the drop-down menu. However, configurations are used for much more than controlling display states. They can be used for controlling what components go into different configurations of an assembly. In the case of this new configuration, even though we have hidden the tray visually, the tree still exists inside of the bill of materials. So how do we go about physically excluding a certain component from an assembly? Now at this point, many users will resort to suppressing components for each configuration. However, this often leads to dangling mates. My recommendation is to never suppress components. Instead, we should turn to the envelope function in SOLIDWORKS. Let's activate the default configuration and create a new configuration. Now supposing that for this configuration, I would like to physically exclude the tray from the bill of materials. Right click on the tray, go to component properties. Towards the bottom right hand corner of the window, you will notice an envelope function. Check on that, and you will notice that it is automatically excluded from the bill of materials. We can choose to specify which configuration where we want the tray to be an envelope. In this case, we want that to happen in the currently active configuration. So once the tray has been made into an envelope, it turns into a translucent color. In an envelope state, it does not contribute to the overall mass of the assembly. For good measure, let's change the color of block C to yellow, and I will also change the description of the configuration. So I have changed the color of block C to yellow, and I have also renamed the configuration. Let's cycle through the different configurations again. And let's return to the drawing. So I've created a bomb based on this new configuration, and you can see that the tray has been physically excluded from the bill of materials. So I hope that this video has demonstrated to you how we can make use of configurations 
to drive both configurations and display states. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.